Hello, I'm Commander Exegius, and today we'll be looking at how to unlock the Guardian FSD booster. This is an optional internal module that comes in class 2 through 5, with them adding 4, 6, 7.75, 9.25, and 10.5 light years of range, respectively. Given the significant range increase, this is an excellent module for any ship in the galaxy. Let's start with a quick build. While you can use just about any ship in the galaxy, you'll want one with good jump range, an SRV bay, and at least 8 tons of cargo space. Jump range will be rather important, as the Guardian sites we need to visit are near 1,000 light years away. I'll post a few builds in the description below. Now that you're ready to head out, you'll need to plot a route to one of the active Guardian structures that give Guardian module blueprint segments. These are a different layout than the sites that give the weapon blueprint segments. I'll be heading to HD 63154, body B3A. This site is 140,000 light seconds from the primary star, so it'll take a little bit to get there. As you arrive at the planet, the site will show on your navigation panel as a POI once you're within 1,000 light seconds. Now that we've arrived at the site, we'll need to find the six hidden pylon locations that will emerge from the ground as we approach. We'll need to activate the two primary pylons of the machine to enable the other four. A map of the site is on screen now. As you approach each location, a pylon will rise from underground. Note that when they do, one or more sentinels will usually spawn and you'll need to engage and destroy them first. As the pylons appear, charge them by firing at the blue orb at the base. Once you've charged all six pylons, you'll need to find an ancient relic. These are located at the top of the tall spires that will also appear from underground as you approach their locations. Simply target the relic atop the spire and blast away. Once it falls, open your cargo hatch and scoop it up. Now head to the machine at the head of the site, and once you're parked on the lighted area in front, jettison the relic. The machine will accept it and eject the orb in a rather fantastic light show. Once the orb is deployed, jump into your turret, target the orb, and scan it to receive the Guardian Module Blueprint segment. Fortunately, we need only scan the orb once to unlock the FSD booster. Note that if you plan on unlocking the other Guardian modules, such as the distributor, power plant, etc., you'll need to repeat this a total of six times. While at the site, you'll need to acquire one Guardian power cell and 21 Guardian technology components. These can be obtained from the various destructible panels on the spires and structures around the site. Simply target these structures and blast away, scooping up the results. You'll also be gathering sentinel materials as they are destroyed, and while they aren't needed for this unlock, it's a great idea to grab them as you may choose to unlock some of the other modules and weapons in the future. Now that we've gathered all the necessary Guardian materials, let's head back to the bubble to gather the rest. We'll need 24 Focus Crystals, which can be gathered in a number of ways, primarily from collecting materials from combat ships after destroying them. You can also use a Material Trader based on your other materials. Finally, you'll need to purchase 8 HN Shock Mounts, which can be purchased in a limited number of stations in the bubble. I'll include a link below. Now that we've gathered all the required materials, it's time to head to a Guardian Technology Broker to unlock the module. The easiest way is to use Inara. Simply go to Galaxy, Systems and Stations, Nearest, then Technology Broker. Enter your current system in Search Near Star System and click Search. Be sure to head to a Guardian Broker, and when you arrive, go to Starport Services, Contacts, Technology Broker, and select and unlock the Guardian FSD Booster. Hopefully this guide will help you unlock the FSD Booster quickly and easily. This will bring the maximum range of an Asp Explorer above 70 light years and an Anaconda above 80. Fantastic news for any long-range explorer. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius reminding you to fly dangerously and thanks for watching. Hopefully you found that tutorial helpful and you'll check out my other Guardian related content. You can also join me on my weekly live streams, Tutorial Tuesdays, and Creators Roundtable every Friday, and I hope you'll consider supporting my efforts via Patreon.